What's going on, everybody? So, as you noticed, I haven't uploaded in over a week, and that's because I've actually been having an issue with charging the car and trying to figure it out. I don't have time to completely deplete a battery and then recharge it and everything, or deplete it down low enough and then sit around and wait for it to charge. So, Here's the rundown on what's been happening. I went to go fully charge it before going out of town and the battery said it would be done at 2.45 in the morning on the house charger here, which is a standard level one. Um, get up, 7.30 that day, and it's still not done charging. It said it'll be done at 8.30. Well, 8.30 comes and goes and I don't have time to sit around and wait for the car to finish charging and so I go ahead and unplug it the my Chevrolet app at the time was saying that the car said it was full but the car was still taking a charge on top of the infotainment center saying that it was still not full but the battery bar was indicating full so I was like all right maybe I unplugged it right there at that point where it's almost full but it's not exactly full so fast forward a few days and everything seems to be working fine well I went to go charge it up on Hilltop Reserve and that should charge to 88% the time it was supposed to be done was at 7.15 p.m. on a level 2 charger and the car kept updating every 15 minutes that it would be done in 15 minutes when I had got back to the car at 7.15. The car then at, at about 8.35 I unplugged it. It had received 29.2 kilowatts. Here's a little bit of the video for that. But the battery bar on the dash was indicating 100% full. The infotainment center wasn't reset and I ended up plugging it back in thinking alright maybe I unplugged it right there at that limit again because when you did the math I'd used 36 kilowatt hours in the battery from a state of full doing the math with the battery, a 57 kilowatt hour battery, I should have had 21 kilowatt hours in the battery. And I had delivered 29 point something kilowatt hours at that point. Well, that comes out to 89%. Well, transmission loss and everything, I've heard upwards of 10%. Well, it's a 6.6 .6 kilowatt hour charger, so six kilowatt hours are actually delivered per hour if you go off of that. Um, well, fast forward to me driving home, and here's a chunk of that video. Obviously, I didn't utilize three kilowatt hours in about four miles, but according to the dash, I had utilized the three kilowatt hours. So I went ahead and took the car in, and they either had a miscommunication between the service manager and the technician or the service manager misunderstood what I said. Somehow it got to, I had Hilltop Reserve on and the car wasn't fully charging it should. Well, that's not what I turned over to the service manager. I told him that it was charging beyond the 88% and I don't know why Hilltop Reserve's on, it should stop at 88%. And, but it got turned over to the technician that the car wouldn't charge to 100%. And being that I've reiterated it multiple times, even when they called me and told me the car was fine, ready for pickup, and then they told me what they did, I reiterated the problem, kind of felt like I got brushed off, and I'm like, look, I'll just pick up the car in the morning, and I'm done with you. Like, I'm done, because you're not listening. So, 
the car's never going back to that dealership. Luckily, there's another dealership here in town that I can take the car to, but I don't know how they're gonna be. The other end of the, this is, I turned Hilltop Reserve on yesterday and plugged the car in. I had gotten down to about 60% on the battery. Plugged it in with Hilltop Reserve on, should charge the 88%. Well, I used a different charger. I actually was able to utilize the CCS, or yeah, CCS charger here in Wichita. And it's like, all right, it'll be done to 80% at 815 PM. Cool. Well, 815 comes, passes, and it says it's finalizing. Well, I checked it at about 845 and the car was indicating it was at 93%. All right. Well, maybe there's just some battery balancing or something that the battery management system has to do. I'm trying to analyze this and figure this out myself. At about two minutes later, I get the text from OnStar saying that the car is done charging. Well, we get back to the car. Cool. It's actually indicating right. Now it's got two bars missing at the top, which the gong does round for the 5% brackets, but it's got two bars missing. Cool. All right, it's not indicating that it's full like it did the last time. Then I decided to drive home, obviously. On the way home, this is what happened. As you can see, I had gone almost four miles and only utilized 0.1 kilowatt hours. That's not right. The center instrument cluster was showing upwards of 68 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, when I had gotten back to the house, it was showing like 41 or 46 kilowatt hours. So we ended up driving the car when I went out later that night and we put, I took a picture of it. Here's the picture. And that was on the way out. Ultimately, I'm pretty sure we used like 1.9 kilowatt hours according to the infotainment system. And we had gone around 25 miles. So that actually comes out to about 12 miles per kilowatt hour. I've never seen the car get anywhere close to that efficiency. I've had upwards of 6.1 right after charging, but the car as a whole has never seen 12 miles per kilowatt hour. That's to me saying that the battery is not truly indicating what is in the battery, the actual state of charge of the battery. Um, this has only come about since I had the software recall done, which is supposed to fix these type of issues because of the sudden loss of propulsion. Well, I didn't have that problem until this. I don't know if it's the software package that the dealership put out or if it was the dealership I took the car to put something wrong and if there was like settings they needed to change and the software package. I know some of the software that I have to install on parts at work, you have to select certain things to get it to install right or indicate right once it's installed. But I don't know the process for these updates. And this is starting to get to the point where if I take this car to, let's say, Kansas City this week, will I make it? If I fully charge the car, I think I will. I, th I honestly believe that when I fully charge the car, the car indicates right. But when I charge it with Hilltop Reserve, I'm 90% certain that the car charges beyond the 88%, but indicates that it's at 88%. And then your first 20, 30 miles, you're getting amazing mileage according to the information that you're receiving. 
and that's really not the case. You're just utilizing the portion that it's saying it doesn't actually have. And that's not cool, but cool at the same time because you can show your friends that you, you're getting 40 miles per kilowatt hour, and, but you're not, you're not really doing that. And I really want to take the car back to them and have them revert it back to the old system, but I just want the car fixed. And until I can get some downtime to take the car to like the other dealership and have them check it, I don't know if I can trust the car on long road trips. I'm going to take it on a long road trip and see what happens. Worst case is I'm stranded on the side of the road and General Motors provides me with a vehicle until I can have this fixed. I have no idea if anybody else is out having this problem or have noticed this, but if you have had the update, has seen this, please let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow along on this issue that it's, it's an issue, but it's not really that big of an issue. It's just concerning of an issue. So yeah, hit that subscribe button and I will keep you all posted as things develop with this. And hopefully GM sees this and can get me a word back on what's actually going on. Beyond that, you all have a great one and I will catch you all next time. Deuces.